What would you say the main takeaway from the report was in relation to your sector? So the main takeaway is on the point of um, the education provider sector or the FE sector was that there's no one size fits all solution and the STEM skills gaps aren't a national problem. I think education providers need to thoroughly understand the local region that they serve and then know specifically what skills gaps their local employers have in regards to STEM occupations. One of the things the report does is to back up what we've been hearing from the past few years about the increased demand in STEM jobs, growth in such jobs being 20% from 2003 to 17, compared with 15.5% in non-STEM jobs. This is also set to continue into the future with 3% 3 or so growth in STEM jobs versus 2.5% uh, for non-STEM. What, what do you think this means for your sector? So there's a clear demand for future STEM skills and occupations, which are not only vital to the UK economy, but also to local economic growth. So further education providers are responsible for offering the learners they serve a wide range of options that lead them to sustainable career paths, but also contribute to the local and national skills agenda, whether this be within STEM or non-STEM occupations. The report clearly shows that demand for STEM skills is not at all uniform across the country. Uh, lots of variations in the number of people needed to fill roles and the types of roles that are needed in different locations. What does this mean for the for, for the sectors that you're supporting and how should they respond to the challenge of, the, of, of STEM skills? So the skills requirements for STEM occupations or STEM related occupations will be very different from one region compared to another. Um, so labour market data is needed to help education providers and pick those specific skills requirements and then from that plan and amend their curriculum offer accordingly. Our comparison of two of the biggest STEM employing industries, digital and uh, oil and gas, shows that such can shows that such can often have very different staffing needs. What do you think this means for your sector um, uh, in terms of the way they go about tackling the STEM the STEM skills needs in their area, especially in terms of how they engage with employers? So identifying staffing patterns with labour market data can help education providers understand the range of industries that the STEM occupation is leading to, and then in turn help them engage with employers in all industries where STEM skills are needed. Um, this will help fill skills gaps as well as helping learners progress into meaningful employment after study. How do you think better knowledge and understanding of STEM salaries can be used by organisations in your sector to help fix STEM shortages? So generally, STEM occupations are well paid, but as skills requirements differ from region to region, we've seen that also so do wages. What labour market data helps us do is look at wage information and show which STEM occupations are well paid, which are not, but also gives local wage data and not national wage data on STEM occupations, which generally is, is misleading and unhelpful. So within the FE sector, by knowing which STEM occupations have a competitive advantage within region, an education provider can make sure learners, colleagues and employers are aware of this, and then they can effectively offer the right training and employer links to make sure that there's a really strong talent pipeline for these occupations. In the Focus on Skills section, we've shown how hard the how the hard skills that employers are looking for can be identified. How do you think this sort of insight can be used in your sector? So by identifying which hard STEM skills occupations require, the FE sector can ensure the content of the curriculum in these areas is meaningful and relevant and also meets local employee needs. How can this sort of data be used by organisations in your sector to work alongside other stakeholders in other sectors to meet the demand for STEM skills? By showing that an education provider clearly recognises local employee needs within STEM occupations and that they have the right courses to train the future workforce, 
I think they can effectively promote themselves to economic development organisations and higher education institutes, um, as well as other key stakeholders as the go-to provider in meeting local and national STEM skills gaps.